Okay, I'm gonna show you how I make my liquid culture. This is by far the easiest, lowest effort way to make a liquid culture that I've found. All you're gonna need is some honey and some hot water and a container to put your liquid culture in. I like to use these half pint jars and you want something inside there to break up the mycelium. You can use a marble, use a little rock. I like to use these magnetic stir bars because I got a magnetic stir plate. All this recipe is is 4% honey by weight to water. So we're going to do uh, 6 grams of honey and 150 grams of water to make a liquid culture that fills up one of these jars. As you notice, I have no vent on this lid, only an injection port, and I'll, I'll show you how I deal with that once it's pressure cooked, because it's going to form a vacuum. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and stick our jar on the scale, tear it out, and then weigh out 6 grams of honey. There we go. And remember, this is a 4% recipe, so you want around 4 grams of honey per 100 milliliters of water, which is 100 grams of water. So we're going to head and tear that out and weigh out 150 grams of water. good enough so once you have that done if you use hot water you can just slap the lid back on give it a nice stir and it should all dissolve pretty easily there you go now it won't be this clear when it comes out of the pressure cooker but that's fine it still works very well Now your liquid culture is ready to be pressure cooked. Just stick it in your pressure cooker, about two and a half quarts of water, and then make sure these lids are unscrewed about a quarter turn. Now these liquid culture lids will form a vacuum in the pressure cooker, but that's okay. I'll show you how to deal with it at the end of this video. Grab two and a half quarts of water. Just pressure cook it. When you're sterilizing liquids, they sterilize very quickly. My process is I turn the heat on, turn the heat on high, and I'll let that purge out the steam for about 15 minutes. Once this thing pops up, it'll start shooting out steam there. I let that run for 10 or 15 minutes. Then I just put the weight on top. I let it get to around 15 to 17 PSI, and then I just shut the heat right off. I don't let it sit there for any amount of time. In the past I've said I let it sit there for like an hour. Completely unnecessary if you're only running liquids. But you want to make sure that they do get to temperature to properly sterilize. So I do like to overshoot 15 psi a little bit and the 15 minute purge is pretty important. Once you have steam coming out like this, it's not quite purging. The uh, lock has to be up. You can encourage that to happen just by holding it down with something for a couple seconds. You know, five or ten seconds. And once the pressure builds up, you just release it and it pops right up. And now it's purging. You can see that it's got steam coming out. And it's getting rid of all the trapped air inside of there to make sure the entire thing is filled with steam. Which will help it get to sterilization temperatures properly. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this purge out for about 15 minutes. You can turn down the heat like a little bit, but you still want it to keep at a, at a nice rolling boil. So yeah, I'll come back in 15 minutes, just slap the weight on there, 
bring it up to around 15, 17 PSI, and then just shut the heat right off. All right, we're starting up to get to 17, which means that this is done. Gonna go ahead and just let it get that last little bit up there. And we're good. Now I'll show you how to deal with your liquid culture. Once your liquid culture has been pressure cooked, it should be under a vacuum, which means that the process went well. But you still need to equalize that vacuum before you can inoculate it with anything. So I learned this from a channel called Renegade Mushrooms. Uh, feel free to check out his video on, I'll put a link in the description. So what you do is you take a syringe and you fill it with polyfill and you use that as a filter to equalize the pressure in there and get some sterile air in there. All right, so you're gonna want your liquid cultures that are under a vacuum. Get a syringe. Um, you can use a used one uh, as long as you sanitize it before with some boiling water or something. And what you want to do is pack it with polyfill and that will act as the air filter when you equalize the pressure. So before we do that, this is not sterile currently as you can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to sanitize this filter as best we can using 70% isopropyl. Then what we're going to do is heat up this needle and draw some hot sterile air in using a torch and that will get this all all prepared for drawing some nice clean air into these jars. So first we're going to fill this up with some alcohol. You just want you want a decent amount in there. And then keeping the cap on there. We're just going to purge it out onto a paper towel. I'm going to go ahead and get some alcohol on these injection ports and wipe them down. So once you have alcohol in this, we're going to go ahead and take the plunger and, and squeeze it out. And that should hopefully take care of most of um, any contaminations that are in there. So then at this point I like to light my flame source. doesn't need to be super strong, but uh, you want it stronger than a lighter in my opinion. So we're going to go ahead and hold that, squeeze out as much as we can, and then heat up the needle and the flame. And once the, and, and while it's in the flame, we're going to draw the plunger back and then take it out, hold it in place. And then while it's in the flame, we draw the plunger back more. And we'll do that a couple times until we take the plunger all the way out. And this is drawing nice, clean, completely sterile air in. And there we go. We've got sterile air and a clean needle. All that's left to do is stick it into the injection port. So I'm just going to give it a moment to cool down. and then just stick it in the jar. There you go. All you gotta do in between jars is just flame off the needle real quick.
that's it. You can reuse this over and over. Just keep it in a Ziploc or something and you'll be good. And there's your liquid culture. All you gotta do is inoculate it with something.